Good morning, Fishheads. Jen Cravasi, Jekyll Bates. Welcome to Bullshed Studios. Hey guys and gals, Jen Cravasi, Jekyll Bates. Welcome back to another workshop. Update today is Monday, February 15th, 2021. Let's get right into it. You guys are looking at these two. We're going to start out with them first. This is, of course, the Bullshad Shad Glide. And very, very simple, easy, and a bone with a little bit of darker detailing on top. Got that shimmer in the cheeks, and I did not, I purposely did not use scale on this, except for just a little bit of accenting and a stencil. But just a very plain, super fun introductory level into custom work. Also, you guys probably watched over the weekend the um, Mystery Tackle Box repaint number 14. It's the 14th time we've done it with Mystery Tackle Box, and we chose this Guggen Squad Banger. It was a beautiful, sexy shad, but we did it for beginning and people that have not been into airbrushing long that maybe don't have a whole lot of supplies and maybe they don't have shad if they're fishing a farm pond or something along those lines and they don't have shad in their water but they get it in their mystery tackle box which is awesome um, this is what you can turn it into with just a couple of colors we have four colors on here not including the ear flap and the accenting I call those accent colors but we've got a white a basic transparent bright yellow a red violet which is a standard color for createx then we've got a little bit of fluorescent orange on the throat that white again on the belly i've got some white fleck that i just kind of flick the airbrush at just to jazz it up a little bit and then we've got that ear flap in black with a hand cut just an exacto knife and a little piece of cardboard and then we also used the straight line in this box down here to help create our gill lines so just something easy, something that everybody that you know has access to airbrush paints and maybe you're just starting out, this would be a very easy pattern for you guys to do. So that's why we had that in mind for you. It was subscriber requested. It was actually the number one subscriber request for the community question that I asked last week on what would you like to see. You asked for beginner basics, so I kind of killed two burns with one stone and showed you a repaint, Mr. Tackle Box Plus, a beginner basics so you guys have seen these and seen these and seen these these are all orders going out this morning this is I think I may have shown you this one earlier in the week I don't remember it was a long week last week but this is that baby bullgill in uh, in a new pattern in that mirror carp you guys have really been digging the mirror carp and just to show you this is what the spate started out like And then it was repainted to this. Kudos to Russ Allen at Insane Custom Stencils for providing the stencil that gave us the basis. We did a lot more than just put the stencil on this. There's tons of stuff going on in this bait, but that is the basic stencil uh, from Russ. And thank you, Russ, for that awesome stencil. Got another one in this baby bull gill of that green slash long ear. So it's a long ear when the ear is long and there's a red splash. Green sunfish do get this dark in some places. They definitely did in Arkansas where I fished along uh, Crooked Creek and around White River. Got that Everglades, beautiful Everglades gill on the baby bull. And again, these are orders going out this morning for customers so i'm bright and breezy and early giving you guys this update this is uh john's eye over at jets and lure eyes and then we have just a really fun basic gill some of these stencils. Now this is Brian Best stencil. It is his micro snake skin. You can get him over at uh, Anarchy Model Stencils UK. 
He's across the pond. I hope, uh, I wish you speedy recovery, Brian. I know that you uh, had a leg injury. We certainly hope that you're doing better than you had been. So we also, because you guys have been dying to, you guys have really been crushing asking for these patterns. This is that mirror carp. It's, it's not been detailed yet. Uh, I've got a lot more detailing to do. I've got to put those custom eyes in this. But this is the pre-detailed. I do a lot of hand detailing on these. It is not a simple pattern. So that is it in the Shad Glide. Lots of hand paint going on with these. And this, again, this is what I was talking about with the, uh, you guys were asking questions in regards to the helping hands. The lead base in this thing is super heavy duty, as are the J-Wing screws and nuts on here. And absolutely no problem, very sturdy. It's not going anywhere. So I use these from Amazon. There is a link in the description below because I can do heavier swim bait type stuff. Also gonna show you this guy. Put that under the microscope here as it were. Painted another one of these. And this is with three layers of clear on this. You guys are asking me what I use. You know what I use. Don't be silly. I use the same thing that I've been using. It comes out super clear, super tough. Good times. And also working on some rats. And I'm standing over the camera if it sounds like my voice has shifted it's because it has. This is a beautiful set of rats. Much, much, much more to come. So hang out, wait for more videos. I've got probably one or two spray sessions this week I've, I've got planned for you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. Love the company on the channel. I will see you guys on the next video. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates at Bullshed Studios.